What's going on everyone? I rarely pay attention to news in the gaming industry and modern gaming stuff. I just don't focus on that that much. But I heard about something recently about the new Shadow of Mordor game and how they have single player loot boxes. I've known about loot boxes ever since Overwatch came out. Some of my friends, they got that game. Some of them poured hundreds and hundreds of hours into it. Me, I'm not into those type of games, so I'm not playing Overwatch. But I've heard about loot boxes and paying money for them to get skins and all that stuff. Just not for me. This whole microtransaction bullshit DLC fucking loot box shit i just want to get as far away from that as possible fuck that but they've become a big thing now especially in the past couple of years and recently i've heard news about skyrim charging for survival mode what the fuck is going on but with all this stuff going on in the gaming industry with companies always trying to find new ways to nickel and dime us and get money out of us in the worst ways instead of making great DLC or coming up with good games or just giving us a full experience and hoping it sells now they try to fucking give us single player loot boxes and microtransactions not every company but some companies are trying to do that and I feel that in the future especially with these fucking single player loot boxes this is going to become a more popular thing now for some companies to do and they're going to try to hide content from us or not give us a full experience unless we give them a little bit more than what they already asked for with the game. Now I have one piece of advice for people that are disgruntled with this. Play older games or get back into playing older games. I'm not saying to give up on modern gaming or any new game that comes out because I don't do that. I mainly play older games but I play a lot of newer ones too. One of my favorite games that came out this year and it quickly became one of my favorite games of all time is Yakuza 0 so there's a lot of good stuff out there. And things like Divinity Original Sin 2 or some people they really told me good stuff about Stardew Valley. There's a lot of great stuff out there but you can really get a lot of mileage out of older games and you can do it for cheap if we're talking about PC digital games. There's a lot of great stuff out there. Now as I said before, I mainly play older games and that's what I review on this channel. It's not a gimmick for me, it's not something I do to try to stand out from other channels. I genuinely enjoy it and sometimes people ask me, well Che, how can you enjoy playing these older games with the interfaces and the way it's presented, some of the older graphics, especially like some of the older Ultima games or Fallout since they're like 20, 30 years old, they can be outdated in certain aspects of the game. It's because I enjoy it. There's a lot of originality and a lot of creativity in these older games. And when I buy one of these older games on GOG or Steam and I install it, Sure, it might be a pain in the ass for some of them. I might have to install a patch, or I might have to get used to the controls. But, I don't have to worry about some fucking shyster adding a whole bunch of microtransactions trying to get extra money out of me, or trying to tamper with the game so I don't get the full experience. With a lot of these older games, when I install it, I know I'm getting the full experience. Whether it's 10 hours, 8 hours, or if you like computer role-playing games, 20 or more hours, like fucking 50 hours. You're gonna get the full experience, and you're gonna get it cheap and I'm specifically talking about PC digital games but even with older console games or handhelds you can emulate them there is so much variety and so much mileage you can get out of these older games at a cheap cost there's several different ways to do it and you can avoid some of these companies trying to squeeze every little dollar out of you with stuff like microtransactions and DLCs, season passes that don't do anything. They charge you money for these season passes and they promise to give you great experiences but they give you some bullshit costumes or don't even fucking deliver. They call these DLCs quote unquote and it's more like three or four fucking missions that you can beat in 40 minutes or something like that. Some companies do that. Not all companies are bad, just remember, but with all these new quote unquote practices going on, they're just always trying to get fucking money out of you. And I know that's the point of a business is to make money, but Jesus fucking Christ, are you trying to sell me an experience or are you trying to fucking rip me off like some fucking shyster down the street? Now, I've been playing a lot of computer role playing games over the past five years. I reviewed a bunch of them on his channel, especially older ones, so I thought I was pretty knowledgeable about the genre. I found out I didn't have a clue. 
I haven't even scratched the surface on these old computer role playing games. There's so much more out there. Let me just put it like this. I have enough content just on old school RPGs alone for the rest of my life on this channel. I could do this channel for 10 years and I couldn't even review probably 40% of all the old school computer role playing games even if I tried really hard and I put out like 3 reviews a month. There's so much out there, especially with these older games, and even if you think you know about a genre and you think you're knowledgeable because maybe you grew up on it or you played a lot of games in the past, there's always much more to discover and at a good cost. I am going to keep talking about the price because I'm very frugal with my money. I was just raised that way. I remember growing up and helping my grandma clip coupons. I'm always trying to stretch my dollar out as much as I can and save and save and save and it helped me so much in the past and especially now since I'm working and I'm going to college and I'm just trying to make a better life for myself so being frugal is really helping me out. So I can go on GOG or Steam, I prefer GOG, and I can go on the sale and get games for like three, four, five dollars and play them for like 50 hours. The next game that I'm going to review is part of a series. There's over three games in the series and I'm not gonna specifically say it because I want it to be a surprise. I got those games for $3 on the sale, and I've been playing the first game for over 50 hours. I've been playing it for the past two months. I probably would have beaten it earlier, but I've been busy with a lot of stuff. I got so much out of that game that I've paid $3 for the whole pack. So my advice to you people that are disgruntled with these practices, and maybe you're tired of just modern games in general, you want to take a break, and you're trying to avoid the fucking companies that are trying to rip you off. Play older games. It doesn't matter if you're into racing or adventure games or role playing games, action, whatever. There's always a lot of stuff out there that you've missed in the past. There's always more to discover. I hope that things like loot boxes become a thing of the past real soon. I hope that they're just a fad in the gaming industry and they go away. I know that's not going to happen. I'm cynical. It's popular, a lot of people buy it, and I'm not telling you what to do with your money. If you want to buy that stuff, you do what you want. I don't give a fuck. But me, I'm going to try my best to avoid that. I don't like the idea of loot boxes, especially single player loot boxes. I know companies are going to abuse it. They're going to try to give us true endings by making us pay more for it or make the game artificially hard at certain points. Not to make it challenging, but to try to you know, sway people into buying their fucking shitty loot boxes. Or they might just take a lot of content out the game or keep it on the disc and lock it and just try to sell it to us or maybe put it in there if we buy enough loot boxes. They've done that before. But all these bullshit practices, I'm going to do my best to avoid that. I'm going to play some older games and I'm going to support companies that actually give us full experiences like Larian Studios. I believe that's what they called the people behind Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm going to support companies like that because fuck all that other shit. They're going to try to fucking get us for every nickel and dime we have. How about this companies? If you want more money, do something like expansion packs. You ever heard of that? There used to be these things called expansion packs. Sometimes they came in their own boxes, especially PC games. They had a lot of cool expansion packs. It felt like a brand new experience. Instead of small little DLCs with maybe two or three missions that you charge just eight bucks for, they used to be brand new experiences that really added to the game and really made it feel worthwhile. Now, you'll be lucky to get a DLC that lasts more than two hours. So, as I said before, my best advice? Play some older games, whether it's emulation or with PC digital games, you get it on Steam or GOG, especially on sale. I encourage people to shop during sales because you can get some fantastic games at cheap prices. You never know what you might find. Pick your favorite genre, look it up, see what games you missed out on the past, and just have fun. You'll never know what you'll find. I'd rather play fucking a game like Metal Slug than the new Shadows of Mordor. I'd rather play Star Wars Battlefront 2, the classic version that came out over 10 years ago, not the new one. I'd rather play that than Overwatch. But it's all preference, and this is just my opinion. So let me know what you think, and if you need any suggestions for older games, especially computer role-playing games, let me know and I will do my best to help you out. Go crazy, see what you can find, and you can find these motherfuckers for free at emulation or at a great price. You have a great day. Thank you for watching.